Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here, and in this video I'm playing Cold War Zombies. I'm on the map Firebase Z, and I'll be showing you how to craft and assemble the wonder weapon known as the Ray K-84. This is an update to my previous video. You will be able to craft the weapon at the end of this guide. Step one is pretty simple. All you need to do is go through the teleporter, then interact with the three reactors to turn on power to the facility. At this point, you should be able to also pack a punch your weapon back in the village. With the power now turned on, a lot of new doors will be opened up, including this door that I'm running to, which leads to the weapon lab. Inside of the weapon lab, you can find a blueprint on the wall. We'll interact with it in order to pick it up. For step three, what we're gonna do is head to the most eastern side of the map. There's a bit of a beach here with some bunkers, and there's an assault round that takes place here. But more notably, there is a tank near the bottom of the hill on the right hand side. And next to that is someone whose eyeball we need. So we're going to go and interact with that in order to take it. And we will now be able to use it. For step four, just bring the eyeball back to the weapon lab and interact with the scanner next to the computer. This will turn the computer on and it will open up the drawer underneath, which will present us with a locker key. Obviously, you want to pick that up. For the next step, you want to take the locker key and then head towards the barracks. There are two buildings here with lockers inside. One of the buildings has three and the other has six. You want to start using your locker key in order to open up these lockers. And as you do this, mimics will spawn up to three unique mimics. So open up all of the lockers, then take out all of the mimics and you will have your first piece for the barrel. With that completed, we are ready for my least favorite step. Head back to the weapons locker and interact with the computer. You'll notice a circle cut up into 20 segments similar to a dartboard and it will begin flashing. You have to memorize exactly where the flashes stop. These will correspond with places on a dartboard. This will be the key to open up the safe. Just head back to the village. Make sure you have a single fire weapon. The shotgun didn't work for me and then input the code you saw on the computer. For me, it was four, nine, five, and then lock in the combination by shooting the bullseye. Pick up this new part to completely form the barrel of the gun. For the next step, you'll have to progress the rounds. For me, I usually had to go to round 15 to get the mangler to spawn. He's almost like a Mega Man type enemy with a ball that kind of shoots energy out of his arm. And what you need to do is shoot that arm right as it's charging. This will discharge it and they will drop the next piece for the wonder weapon. For the next step, you're going to take this uncharged power cell back to the weapon lab and interact with this area inside and you'll be able to place the power cell. At this point, you need to charge it just by doing one complete round while it's in its little holder. But don't worry, you don't need to like stand next to it or anything. You just need to start and finish a complete round while that power cell sits in that little slot. And then for me in round 17, I was able to pick it up. Now you have all of the parts. You take it over to the workbench in that weapons lab. You craft it and you pick it up and that's it. Go ahead and pack a punch this weapon one, two or three times. It becomes a lot better once you pack a punch it, especially in these higher rounds. And that's how you can get one guaranteed wonder weapon per playthrough for free. You can also obviously do them through things like the mystery box or by completing a legendary trial. If you're trying to get multiple wonder weapons for your entire squad in a four man group. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, share the video with a friend. A super special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. And hopefully I see you soon. Peace.